A bag of blood for transfusion can save a life if it reaches a patient in time. Road transport slow. This one will be taken from this distribution center to a hospital in rural Rwanda by drone. An American company called Zipline developed the technology. The government here embraced it. The Rwanda government's seeing an opportunity where they could leverage something like Zipline to solve a problem that is faced by every country in the world. And they're the first one to say, let's do something about it. It's one of a number of impressive development projects launched by the government since it came to power in 1994. It's also reported high economic growth with rates averaging over 6% per annum for years. It says it's reducing poverty too. But a growing number of critics say that the government's manipulating the data and that things are not nearly as good as they look. Agriculture is another area where the government says it's winning. The vast majority of Rwandans are farmers, but a growing number of economists and researchers say many communities are forced by officials to grow cash crops for co-ops, and it's making some of them poorer and hungry. But in a country where many government critics have been arrested or killed, most people don't question the policies. David Imbara says he did, and that's why he now lives in exile in Canada. He worked for President Paul Kagame for six years, including as his head of strategy. He says he quit and fled when he was told to overstate the government's data on economic growth. It has developed a strategy of saying people don't want uh, freedom, they want food to eat. So our business is to concentrate on growth. And then they, sh they give us impressive uh, numbers. So in the end, we, we lose both. It's neither developing and it keeps repressing the population. If you look at our, our but the head of Rwanda's development board told us people are free to discuss and criticize policies. There will always be detractors and there will always be people that want us to lose focus on what we're doing as a country which is uh, increasing the well-being of our people. Economic development in Rwanda is visible to the naked eye. It's not a matter of debate. Back at the drone port, staff wait for the aircraft to return. The government and Zipline say it saves time, money and lives. It's the kind of project that's earned Rwanda the reputation as a developmental success for many years. But now it's less clear whether all Rwandans are experiencing development levels coming up or going down. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Muhanga District, Rwanda.